they are ranked the 23rd receiving core in the National Football League. Amon Ross St. Brown took a step into the elite category, earning a 90.4 receiving grade last season. They moved on from Hawkinson in the middle of the year, but they have Marvin Jones, Josh Reynolds. They added Sam Laporta, who's sure to be a decent part of their passing game. 23 is harsh. So, so yeah, I mean, again, this is just a PFF because I'd have to look and see the argument to the teams ahead of them, right? You, you take Hawkinson out. We saw the way that we use the tight ends and we use it by committee. Right, so the fact that Sam Laporta, I think that sort of upgrades you to viable. I mean, like that just there's, but isn't with PFF you take that with a grain of salt and you just sort well, of that, say, depend, that you depends know on your argument. That that's depends on what your I'm narrative. saying. You take it to a grain of salt to not even with your argument, but this is ridiculous. You know what it's like? It's like Dave Meltzer's star ratings in wrestling, <laughs> five star matches and whatever like this and how. There's an argument because it's it's objective, Neil. My big thing is okay. If I'm 23rd, why are the other teams ahead of me? What you know? Why from 16 to 23? What are the seven seven or eight teams in the middle there that what make them better than I? Because I don't see it. Right. And um, what what messed with me is they mentioned Sam Laporta in that. They mentioned rookies in in, in other. You know, team scouting reports, whether it be Edison or, or Quinn Johnston or stuff like that. They didn't mention Jameer Gibbs or Jamison Williams at all in the Lions report. Which is interesting. You know who else they didn't mention? Your mom's favorite skater. TK85 puts him in the top 10 alone. That's fair. Sorry, Sam Flannel. No, that's, uh, that's the. If, if you put TK85 in there, you would probably rank him below 25. So <laughs> that's just. That's blasphemous. <laughs> but DMAC. So, so to Spenny's point, right? So you have to, and I think maybe we've all become, we're not outraged by it as much. So we understand we take it for what it is and they don't take in all the facts. They don't take in all the facts that, you know, Jameer Gibbs is probably be, um, you know, how they're going to use him like they used uh, DeAndre Swift out of the backfield, which is part of the passing game, right? So they absolutely obliterate any of of that, especially when you draft your first, the first draft pick that you draft is a running back that is more or less used out of the backfield in space. So to me, it just goes, ah, oh, that's PFF being PFF again and just Detroit Lions, SOL.